Thank you for calling US Custom and Border Protection. How may I help you? Um, yes, hi, sir. Um, I got some sort of message here and I was supposed to call back right away. Uh, sir, this is David William from US Custom and, and Border Protection. May I know your name, whom I'm yeah, talking with? My first name is Imus, I-M-U-S. Uh, last name is K-A-M-M-E-R. Sorry, can you spell out your last name? K E M E M M E R. Camer. First name I. Camer, correct? Camer. E last name is E R, correct? Camer. K A M M E R. First name Imus. Okay. All right. Camer. Okay, Mr. Camer. The reason of the call is to inform you that you are being listed as a primary subject in a case which is being filed by. Drug Enforcement Administration. What do you mean? So before I share, so before I share any confidential information to you, I need to verify your social security number over this recorded line for further verification. Uh, zero three two five two eight three two two. Zero three two five two eight three two two. Eight three two two. Okay, just hold the line. Let me verify your social. I'm sorry, what? Camera. I'm sorry, what? In which state your social was issued? In which state your social was issued? Massachusetts. Hello. All right. Okay. And what is day, your date of birth? April 1st, 1966. April 19. April 1st, 1966. April 1st, 1966, correct? Yes. Okay. Then why you are calling here again and again? Don't you have a mic? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Mr. Camus, the reason of the call is to inform you that you are being listed as a primary subject in a case which is being filed by DEA, that is Drug Enforcement Administration. Mr. Camus, we have received a 45 pages legal affidavit against your name and social security number, which is stating that federal government is cancelling all your ad identity issued by them, like your social security number, driver license and any other photo ID for your suspicious role in drug trafficking and money laundering. So do you have any lawyer who can represent you in the courthouse? What do you mean? Uh, what are you talking about? I don't drug, drug traffic or do any of that. Okay, so you don't have a lawyer who can represent you in the courthouse? Don't have a... Why would I need a lawyer? I, I'm not a criminal. Okay. Do you know anything what's going on under your name? No. All right. Okay. Can you please take a pen and paper with you and write down your case file number, my name and my batch ID number? Okay. I, I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah. SC is in Charlie. SS and Sam. 197. Yeah. 197. Okay. And you just write down my name is David William. My employee ID number is 1217875. Hold on a minute. David William? Yes. What's your pitch ID number? It's 1217875. 875? Eight, seven, 1217875. Okay. All right. Mr. Cameron. Thank you for calling me Hello? Yes, are, are we going to talk business here? If we're going to talk business, can you please use my full name? Hello? Okay. Ina Kamer, correct? Correct. All right. Mr. Kamer, let me relay all the information from the affidavit. But before I proceed, I would like to notify you that the lines on which we are talking right now are recorded and monitored by FBI, DEA, and U.S. Custom and Border Protection. I would appreciate if you do not interrupt me in between while I'm reading this affidavit. Okay. 
I will address all your questions regarding the affidavit once I finish. All right. Now, U.S. Custom and Border Protection has seized a suspicious parcel which was shipped with tracking number ending with 7789 using United States Postal Services from Massachusetts under your name. Now, they scanned the parcel and they found out that it was containing drugs, cash was $100,000 and few fake driver licenses. So, they have informed DEA as it was containing drugs and have served notice to USPS. On further investigation, it, for, it was found out that few other parcels were also sent to different addresses in United States, which is also under your name in last few weeks. And FBI raids were carried out in seven states, and they found out 14 different bank debit cards and fake social security cards and also a fake travel licenses. They found out that your identification was being used for drug trafficking in United States and they collected all evidence and documents from the crime site. Further, the documents which they collected had a bank statement from different banks under your social security number in which several big transactions were made in cash and wire outside United States. When contacted with tax department regarding this cash which was under your name, it was found out that there were mistakes in filling of your tax returns and you underreported several cash transactions. At this point of time, they have already informed Social Security Administration and your bank to freeze all the benefits and the bank accounts which was under your name. Once it is done, you will not be able to move any amount of money or your property till the case is going on. Also, they will inform to your employer regarding this case so that they are aware of the matter. So the U.S. Custom and Border Protection is placing three serious charges against your name. Count 1. Violation of Controlled Drugs and Substance Act. Count 2. Violation of Proceed of Money Laundering Act. And Count 3. Willful Misrepresentation of Information to Government Body. So, before filing your paperwork into the courthouse, we wanted to hear your side of the story. And if you prove guilty, then following steps will be taken. Now, Mr. Kammer, what this means for you is you will face an imprisonment of 30 years as citizen is serious crime in the United States. The department will mark a lien on your assets including your house and car if you owe any. All your known bank accounts could be frozen and confiscated which means you would not be able to access your bank account till the time it is frozen. Your name could be blacklisted permanently, which means that you would not be eligible for any government benefits. The credit reporting agencies would be notified about this money laundering case. All your wages and benefits would be frozen by informing your employer and government bodies. Your passport and your driving license will be cancelled, so you cannot run away from the situation. All your retirement investment, that is your IRA account and 401k account, will be freeze. Now, this is to inform you that under Patriot Act, you were under surveillance and all your movements, your phone calls, your social media posting were monitored by FBI as you were considered as threat to national security. And we have gathered enough evidence which we will produce in front of judge and jury members. Now, do you have any question before we proceed with any legal step against your name? Yeah, you told, you told me that it was a case of mistaken identity. Why am I getting charged? Thank you for calling U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Sorry, what did you say? You said that it's a case of mistaken uh -huh. identity, that my identity was stolen. So why are there mm -hmm. charges against me? I'm the victim. I don't understand why you'd mm -hmm. want to charge me. Okay, at this point of time, I have few questions which you need to answer me. Please be sure you are answering it honestly. Yeah. Okay, do you have any rented house under your name? Do I have a rented house under my name? No. Okay, do you have a knowledge of sending courier? Do I have a knowledge of what? Sending courier, a parcel. Sending Korea a parcel? Courier, courier. Sending a courier parcel? Sir, do you have a knowledge of sending courier? 
No. Okay. Do you remember of, of opening an account in Bank of America? No, I don't have an account in Bank, Bank of America. No. Okay. Have you applied online payday loans or personal loans where you need to provide your photo ID? No. In last six months? No. Okay. Have you ever traveled outside the United States before? Yes. Okay. Do you feel you are the victim of identity theft? Do I feel I'm a victim of identity theft? No, I don't feel it. I know yes. I'm a victim of identity theft by what you're telling me. Okay. It's not a matter of feelings. Okay. There's no feelings involved here except for some anger. Okay. Have you ever used USPS services? You asking me if I've ever used the postal service? <laughs> Correct. Yes, I have. Okay. Is there any drug addict around you? Drug addict? No. What? Could, that's these are these are crazy questions. Okay. Have you ever done cash transaction like money transfer, like Western Union, or cash laundering without uh, reporting to Internal I've used, Revenue I've used Services? Western Union before, yes. Okay, so what you are telling me is that you are not involved in this and you don't know anything about this. Is that correct? Yes, I don't know anything about this. That's what I'm telling you. Yes, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I should call my bank right now, if I should call my credit card companies, if I should call my accountants. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I should do right now. Now, the information which we have is stating that Bank of America account, which has which was open under your name, which has a total balance of six hundred thousand dollars, does this money belongs to you? Wait a minute. So you're saying that in Bank of America right now there's six hundred thousand dollars under my name? Correct. Well, I don't know how to feel about this. If I should go and take it out or not? What? What did you say? Well, you just told me that I have six hundred thousand dollars. Should I take it out of the account, right? Uh, sir, do one thing, okay? You are kidding with me on this recorded line. You just hang up the call. We are going I'm to take this matter you. legally, you just, okay? You, you just want to see? Some... You just no, told you told me, me that. Up. You, you just told you... me that I'm that that I have a bank account with six hundred thousand dollars in it, right? You wanna just? You told me that you wanna take it right now. Well, I don't know. I, I mean, it's under my name. Okay. Now, what I believe is that there might be a possibility someone has an access to your personal information and you might be a victim of identity theft. Do you understand what we are trying to explain yes, you? Yes, that's what I've been trying to say. I'm a victim of identity theft. How are we going to solve this problem? Okay. Uh, sir. Now, what we have to do is we have to go and differentiate exactly what information is true and what information is fake. As whatever information the government is having is a fraud information. So I just want to ask you some questions over this recorded line. And I want you to be completely honest so that we can help you in a better way. Are we clear on this? Yeah, whatever, whatever I got to do. Okay, how many addresses are linked under your name? Two. You have two addresses. What is the address? Um, I don't feel comfortable giving that out. I'm very confused here. What do you mean I'm going to give you okay, my addresses? I'll... Sir, sir, you but need you, to provide your address, you okay? I have my address. Hello. Yes, I'm here. I'm just, I'm sorry. I don't mean to get upset. I'm just, I've never had this happen before. And these are questions that I, I don't know who you are. And you're asking me these addresses. Sir, I need to provide this information to the Department of the Treasury. Okay. So I, I need to verify it. I live in New Hampshire and I have a house in Florida. That's all I'm saying. What is your address? 32 Main Street, Kingston, New Hampshire. 32 Main Street, Kingston, New Hampshire. And what's uh, Kingston? Yes. Hello. Yes. I'm 32 here. Main Street, Kings, Kingston, New Hampshire. New? Can you spell? New Hampshire. 
handsome, correct? I live in New Hampshire. Hamster, correct? Where the Hello? hell are you? Are you from the United States? Sir, I'm just asking you, can you repeat it again? I said I live in New Hampshire, 31 Main Street, Kingston, New Hampshire. All right. How many cars do you own under your position? How many cars do I own under my position? Correct. What kind of grammar is that? What is the, What do you mean by Sir, that? Do one thing, you just hang up the call, okay? We are going to take this matter legally. You are kidding with me on this recorded line? What do you mean I'm kidding? You keep saying I'm kidding with you. I'm not kidding with you. You just said how many cars do I have? I have two cars. Hello? Thank you for calling you and Border Protection. How can I help you? Yes, hi. I was just talking with uh, an officer, David William, and we got disconnected. Thank you for calling U.S. Customs and Border Protection. How can I help you today? Yes, I was just talking with an officer named David William, and we got disconnected. And what is your name, sir? Uh, first name is Imus. Last name is Kammer. K A M M E R. And can you verify me with your social security number? 032 52 mm -hmm. 8322. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat your social security number one more time, sir? 032 52 8322. Mm -hmm. And in which city you got your social security number? Massachusetts. Can I please speak with uh, David William? He was explaining each and everything. These guys suck. How may I help you? Yeah, hi, is this the Border Patrol Customs? No. No? Calling U.S. Customs and Border Protections. How can I help you today? Right, right. I was talking to a chutti a minute ago. What happened? And, and you know the name of that person? Yeah, the name of the chutti was David William. It's in David Williams. Let me transfer your call. Just stay on the line for a moment. Right. What a piece of shit. I just stay on the line. I called up the David William. I will, I will connect your line. Just stay on the line for a moment. All right. Let's see what game he's trying to play. These guys are idiots. So everybody, you heard the, the new script. Call him up. Numbers on the screen. Probably should only be on today. Today. I don't think Mr. David Williams is going to come back. I think he's uh, crying in the corner. So. Yeah. So that's the new script. Thank you for calling U.S. Custom and Border Protection. How may I help you? Daddy market chute mother chote scammer. 
Dari Maki Bosra, Gandu Scammer. Oh, we didn't want to say anything. Well, let's just call and say it. Thank you for calling US Customs and Border Protection. How can I help you today? Yeah, I just called to say fuck you. That's all. Hang up the call. <laughs> the phone number is not. All right, everybody. I'll see you soon. I'll be doing a stream soon. And uh, keep messing with these guys. How can I help you? Yeah, hello? Action. <laughs> Border protection. A bunch of fools. All right, everybody. I'll see you all soon. Thank you for calling US Customs and Border Protection. How can I help you today? I'm just saying fuck you one more time again. Just fuck you. Fuck you, dude.